Alright, I thought I'd show you my latest toy. This is my uh, clone of a nest, basically, using a Raspberry Pi um, and a few other doodads. So it's, a, it's actually, as opposed to the other ones, the internet based thermostats, this is actually a learning thermostat. So what we've got here is we've got Raspberry Pi B Plus um, with the Adafruit touchscreen on it, uh, Wi Fi. Um, I've got a wee breakout board that I've made up here that's got a PIR sensor on it and a DHT22 temperature humidity sensor on it. Um, still got to work on the packaging. I need to work on how I'm going to actually do it. Uh, there is actually more screens in this so the touch isn't really working quite right. I'm not too happy with the resistance touch uh, on the screen but this is the main interface here. So. Um, you can see up the top here that we've got movement has been sensed. Um, we've got the Wi-Fi signal, um, heating and water. I don't know if water is going to get removed because I don't see much point in uh, predictively analysing it. Um, got a gauge here that works on the temperature. Um, I don't know, you can't really see very closely, but there's a red bar there that's your desired temperature. So you can see it's 14 degrees at the moment, 50% humidity, date and time on it. Um, the screen's actually turns itself off as well if inactivity has been sensed for more than 30, uh, 30 minutes it turns the screen off. Um, and then of course as soon as you move in front of it the screen comes back on again. Um, it's all done via the, the PIR sensor there um, and the DHT22. Um, so what this does is it actually sends its data to a SQL server, which I am running on my home server. Um, and that's where all the, the, the guts are of the calculations are done on the SQL server, but all the controls are done via the Raspberry Pi. So what I haven't actually connected up yet is the uh, relay board, which will actually connect into my existing thermostat and set it on. But I want to show you what we've got so far. So I'll show you the... Uh, we also have a, a web interface for it, so here's my uh, SQL server um, that's just running. So it, it's got a store procedure which runs the, calculates the uh, learning times of it. Um, it's got a config table which stores various uh, config items and then a, a large history table. But what we have is a, a web interface to this as well. So. We have uh, some nice live trending there. I can see. Uh, I can see what's what's going on. I can see the humidities, etc. And of course, that's history searchable as well, so I can go back in time. Um, I can also see when when it was last updated. So about five minutes ago, which updates every five minutes. Um, I can see how long the heat was on. I was. You know, the twenty three hours. I was well, the twelve hours. I was testing. Uh, testing lower temperatures, etc. Um, we can also see what the calculated schedules are currently for it. Uh, given I'm off on holiday, it's, it's not too bad at the moment, actually. It's pretty much on all the time. And then we've got some uh, controls as well, so we can control it from Tinterweb. So we can set the uh, set 30 minute advance on it, we can set permanently on it, and we can, uh, we can reboot the Raspberry Pi remotely as well, but as well as we can uh, we can increase the desired temperatures um, and decrease the desired temperatures as well. Um, still, we've got work to do on the interface and connect up the uh, the relay board, but I think this will be. Uh, we're going to release the code of this one, so it'll be uh, be up in the forum shortly once I get the uh, the UI working on the on the touchscreen. But there you go. There's a, a learning thermostat for a Raspberry Pi.